Hello, this is Sal. Uh, today we will be configuring Firewall ASA 5506X. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified for the CCNA and the CCNA security exams. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and recommend it to your friends and share it and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions. I will gladly answer you back. On the description of this video, you will find two files, one for the packed tracer source files and the documents to walk you through the lab step by step until you finally will be able to verify the configurations you did during this lab. Now uh, let's start by doing the configuration on this router. Uh, enable, configure terminal, host, name, internet. I will configure the, uh, the interfaces, start with the interface 01, IP address of 8.8.8.1 slash 24 subnet mask, open the port. Or enable the port and the other interface gate zero zero of uh, IP address of ten dot one dot one dot two with slash thirty subnet mask no shut so now we are done with the router so now let's start working on the uh, firewall ASA. Enable, no password, just hit enter, configure terminal, host name, give it a name uh, ASA, uh, enable password of Cisco. I'm not sure if we will use it, but this is how to configure the, to enable the passport. Now let's run this, uh, show running config or show run. I want to show you here by default, this device came with the configuration here for the interface of gigabit ethernet with the name of the interface, the security level and the IP address and the same with the the outside interface and it's configured to get the IP address uh, from the DSCP server. So first let's start by removing this. So I will start with the Gigabit Ethernet 1.1. No IP address. No name F. And no security level. And the other interface no name f no name of the interface no security level and no ip address dhcp let's verify and make sure that things are working show running config and here it's showing us that we were able to remove the configuration <clears throat> now, uh, let's configure the ASA. Now start with the Gigabit Ethernet 1.1, IP address of 10.1.1.1 uh, with slash 30 subnet mask, uh, the name of the interface outside. Security level of zero. No shot. Now the other interface of gig, Gigabit Ethernet uh, one two. IP address of one nine two one six eight dot one dot one slash twenty four subnet mask. And the name of the interface is inside security level of one hundred. 
So now we were able to do the configuration for these two interfaces. Show interface IP brief. And here is showing us that the two interfaces have been configured and the status and the protocols are up and up. Now we will configure the SCP server on the ASA. Let's first create the pool of IP addresses, the DNS server, and then the default gateway. Then enable the DSCP server for inside interfaces. DSCP address, the pool of addresses of 192.168.1.10 to 192.168.1.20. And we want this pool to provide IP addresses for the inside network. Now for the DNS server, of 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 this is our guy here the dscp server enter next the gateway dscp uh, option i'll choose option 3 with the ip address for uh, 192.168.1.1 now to enable the dscp server for the inside network next we will configure uh, a default route on the as route for the outside to any network with this subnet mask and its gateway or next hub the default gateway for the asa will be this interface here on the ip address of 10.1.1.2 next we will configure nat on the asa so the pcs can reach the internet First, we'll create the object network. Object network, I'll uh, name it inside, inside network or inside net. Next to the subnet of 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet mask. Now we want it to net from inside to outside dynamically on the interface. Exit. Now let's try to ping from PCA to the default gateway, to its default gateway. This is the default gateway for these two PCs or whatever devices we will be adding here as long as they are connected to this uh, port here. This is the default gateway. So on the PCA, uh, Let's first verify that it received its IP address. Just what you do is click on the PC icon on the diagram, then click on IP configuration, and then the radio button here, and wait for a few seconds, and it received its uh, IP address. The same with PCB, desktop, IP, icon, desktop, uh, DSCP here. So now we want to see if PCA can ping its default gateway on the 192.168.1.1 and sure it can. Now let's try from PCB uh, to ping it uh, the DNS server. PCB here, uh, ping. 8.8.8.8 It should fail. Why? Because the ASA firewall is blocking the ICMP. Now, uh, let's work on the ASA firewall to permit the ICMP. First, we will start by creating the class map. So back to the ASA. Configure terminal. First, the class map. We'll call it inspection default and then match what you want it to match this class map we want it to match the default inspection traffic enter then we will set the policy map policy map global 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 policy class uh, inspection default in, uh, 
ins, uh, class ins inspection the fault. Now we want it to inspect the ICMP. Enter. So now we configured the ICMP on the ASA. Now let's enable uh, the service policy. Service policy, which is global policy. global now ICMP is permitted uh, show run or as you can see class map inspection default and policy map which is configured class inspection default and inspect ICMP uh, now let's verify and ping the DNS server from either PCA or PCB. So we weren't able from PCB to ping. So let's see if it will be able to ping it now after we permitted ICMP and sure enough it is. On PCB or PCA, I'll use the web browser to access the server by using the web browser, HTTP, uh, here, 8.8.8.8. It should fail because HTTP is not permitted on the fire. So now let's inspect HTTP on the ASA. Back to the ASA. Uh, configure terms on the now policy map global policy uh, class inspection default inspect HTTP now exit show run let's see what we did and here it's showing that inspect HTTP policy map global policy class inspection and for both ICMP and HTTP now let's try again to use the web browser on the PC to access the server. Which one we tried here? Let's try again and here we go. And I'll do it again. 8.8.8.8 uh, .8 and from, this is from PCA. And I'll do the same from PCB. 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. So far, we are permitting ICMP and HTTP. Uh, on PCA or PCB now, let's try to ping the server by the name. Go to the command prompt. Ping. CCNA security. Dot com. It should fail because the firewall is blocking DNS. So let's wait. It's not permitted. So back to the ASA. Let's permit or uh, do the inspection for uh, DNS, configure terminal, policy, map, global, policy, uh, class, inspection, 
default inspect DNS. Children and here policy map global policy. We are permitting uh, DNS, HTTP, and the ICMP. So let's go back here and run the command again and see if we can ping it. And sure enough, we can. Uh, that's it for this video. I just want to show you how simply it is to configure the, uh, the firewall ASA5506X. Uh, please, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and uh, give me the thumb up if you uh, have any suggestions any questions please just write me and i'll answer you back thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon in my next video thanks a lot